Okay, so this is the first potential paper for the edXLC1 for May 2018. So I'll read out, of the, read out all the questions. Uh, question 1. Work out in brackets 27 to the power of 2 thirds plus 32 to the power of 1 fifth close bracket squared. Question 2. fx equals 16x squared minus 40x plus 25. Part A, determine the number of real roots that exist for fx equals 0. Part B, solve the equation fx equals 10, giving your answers in the form a plus b root 10, where a and b are rational numbers. Solve the inequality 3x squared minus x minus 10 less than 0. Question 4, a 1,7, b 2 minus 5, c 3, 4. Part 1, find midpoint of AB. Part 2, find the equation of the line uh, passes through point C and midpoint of AB. Question 5, find integral of 4x cubed plus 1 over 4x cubed dx. Okay. Question 6, evaluate sum of r equals 1 to 60 of 40 minus 5r. Part B, show that sum of i equals 1 to n of r plus 2 over 3 is equal to kn bracket n plus 5, where k is a rational constant to be found. Question 7, given that dy dx equals x to the 4 minus x to the x cube plus 4 over x squared, where x is not equal to 0. Question A, find d squared y over dx squared. Question B, Given that y equals to 0 when x equals to minus 2, find the value of y when x equals to 3. Question 8. The third and eighth terms of an arithmetic series are 5 and minus 33 respectively. Find the common difference. Find the sum of the first eight terms. And part B, find the sum of integers which are divisible by 7 between 30 and 100. Question 9. Given that the equation 5x squared minus px plus p minus 2 is equal to 0, where p is a real constant, has real roots. Part A, show that p squared minus 20p plus 40 is greater than or equal to 0. Find the set of possible values of P. Part C. State the smallest value of P for which the roots are equal and solve the equation when P takes this value. Question 10. A curve has the equation y equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x. Show that the curve crosses the x-axis at only one point. Part B. The point 2, 6 lies on the curve. Find the equation of normal to curve at P. Part C. The normal at P cuts the coordinate axis at Q and R. Find distance QR. Okay, I will uh, post the solutions at some point in the future. And also there will be a C2 paper coming up soon. Okay, thank you.